So more on the horrible job Matt Lauer did with Donald Trump. If you haven't seen the first two videos we did, check them out. Here's our, this is our last video on how bad Matt Lauer was. And, you know, Matt Lauer is a nice guy personally. Uh, I'm not sure he could be a jerk, but I... I um, <laughs> But my point is, it's not Matt Lauer himself. He's just a symbol for what's wrong with news, right? Because uh, even though he didn't call out Trump for lying blatantly, all the other news people kind of stood up for him and said, yeah, you can't do that. You can't call out liar a liar on your news show because then you look you seem biased. And that's what's wrong with corporate news is the criminals they're supposed to be investigating bought the news and now news sucks. And that's why you, people like me are around and, and the Young Turks and the Majority Report and stuff, stuff like that because uh, corporate news. All right. So here we are. Um, as the Republican nominee, Donald Trump was allowed to have two security briefings, right? Hot, Donald Trump. Think about that. Security is That's great. I mean, look, security. Who doesn't want to be secure? I mean, it's true. It's a great point. Security is great. So I love the security and the, the briefings. <laughs> Which the the idea that he got briefed by the CIA or the national is terrifying. Smart people for bombs. The, the fact that someone <laughs> talked to him. You know what though? It's all just overclassified. He probably he just probably got like an in depth financial times read you know what i mean yeah I, you know i probably he, nothing that's really actually that dangerous for him to know and certainly nothing he remembered he, and certainly nothing he yeah. right yeah. Yeah. so he was flirting with his daughter on text he had other stuff going on <laughs> here's matt lauer's question to him about that this 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 may be the most mind this is to me the, no one's talking about this part this is the worst part of the interview uh, you recently received two intelligence briefings yes i did did anything in that briefing, without going into specifics, shock or alarm you? Yes. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> and there's no... <laughs> Way to go. All right. Let me check that off. He was shocked by the question. <laughs> First of all, you you as a journalist, much like a lawyer, you try not to ask questions you don't know the answer to. There is absolutely no way Matt Lauer can and no if Trump can say anything to this question and you can't call him on it because it was a secret briefing that no one's allowed to know what was in it. So Trump could say anything and Matt Lauer can't push back or hold him on it. I have no idea who you would ask this question, but let's watch the rest of the answer. Did Very you learn so. new things? First of all, in that I had briefing. Did you learn new things? Yes. Okay. What the f? What is? <laughs> to what end is this question? These are these are childlike questions. He didn't think this through. You didn't run this question by anybody, Matt. No one would go. That's a good question. That's a nailer. Hey, were you shocked by anything? <gasps> did you learn anything? <gasps> you did. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the let's go to the audience for a question. Here it is. Watch. Respect for the people that gave us the briefings. We were they were terrific people. They were experts on Iraq and Iran and different parts of the and Russia. But yes, there was one thing that shocked me. And it just seems to me that what they said, President Obama and Hillary Clinton and John Kerry, who is another total disaster, uh, did exactly the opposite. Did you learn anything in that briefing? Again, not going into specifics that makes you. <laughs> Again, uh, I can't. There's no way I can fact check anything you're saying, and anything you say is, could be okay because it's a secret briefing. And I just keep asking you if you learn anything. So anything you say, well, I'll have to accept. I don't know why I keep asking the same question three times. He asks him. Would you like to uh, put anything else together where you say terrific, <laughs> dangerous, and disaster with Kerry, Obama, and Hillary in a row? By the way, fuck that guy, John Kerry. Sealed the Iran deal. That's the greatest diplomatic achievement, arguably, in decades. And Obama and even Hillary helped set it up a bit. But Kerry specifically, what the By fuck? By the way, is John Kerry's a John Kerry's a war hero, <laughs> whereas Trump took five deferments. Or or did he take five? He had he's hey, more deferments than wives, I know that. <laughs> That's a lot of deferments so far. Which you like. So let's watch this a little bit. Anything else you'd like to add to that? Any, it's just like, well, do you want to say, hey, tell us anything you want to say. 
That's what Matt. That's what Matt Lauer's doing. Say anything you want to say at all about your special high tech briefing. He's saying. He's we saying. Can... He's saying validate the fears of all of your supporters. That's all this really is. What are some of the things you say you can accomplish, like defeating ISIS quickly? No, I didn't learn anything from that standpoint. What I did learn is that our leadership, Barack Obama, did not follow what our experts and our truly, when they call it intelligence, it's there for a reason, what our experts oh, said to do. Is it? And I was very, very surprised in almost every instance. You know, like the intelligence that led us into Iraq. Remember that intelligence? The stuff that you always deride, how people don't you know more than the generals, nobody knows anything. Oh my God, these guys know these guys know about places like Iraq and Iran and Russia. Those are the three countries he could remember. Yes. That's it. He couldn't remember Syria. Right? He couldn't Turns remember out there's Turkey. a lot of places where they serve couscous. I mean it's and these people <laughs> I mean, frankly, I mean, I have an A1 brain, but they have pretty good brains, too. And I could tell I have pretty good with the body language. I could tell they were not happy. Our leaders did not follow what they were recommending. I totally believe they I mean, weren't happy. And, and so he just lets him say that. So here's, the why, here's why this is such a horrible question. Because now he can say anything. Those guys said Barack Obama was the worst president ever. And Matt can't push back because it's a goddamn secret meeting. So anything Trump says, you can't question. And that's exactly what happened. He took your stupid question, answered it three times because you couldn't stop asking it, a nothing question. And then he finally goes, oh, they told me Barack Obama didn't do what they recommended. And Matt Lauer can't go, well, actually, they did. We've checked with the secret people. You can't do that. So now anything Trump says, you have to let him say it, which is exactly what he did. And what did you do? How, what was his follow up? Let's go to the audience. But Jimmy. Twenty five million dollars a frickin year. Half a million dollars a week, a million dollars every frickin' two weeks. He could have asked a follow-up because Trump did. He said based basically off of body language, they're not happy. Off of body language. So he could have said, "Oh, so the body language was that's not information. Body you language. just extrapolated something off of body language. So you're suggesting that the generals don't like President Obama because of their, their body, body language? language? Yeah, they kept going like this." <laughs> <laughs> This is what's wrong with journalism. This is what this is the guy could, could be the next president. Who should we have to expose him? Um, let's get Barney Five. He's dead. Matt Lauer. OK. OK, we got the morning guy. I mean, you know, to, to, uh, it's not his job, I guess, to, to be a journalist. He's not. He's a morning show host. He's paid handsomely to be affable. That's it. He's an affable guy that housewives like. That's who he is. I don't even know. Can you even say that term anymore? Housewife? That's sexist. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure Joan Walsh is going to send me a tweet. Apartment wives. Apartment wives? Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Great job. NBC. All the resources of NBC, which, by the way, was owned by General Electric all the way through the Iraq war, which is a defense contractor. You wonder why news sucks? Because defense contractors own frickin' news organizations. They don't anymore. Now it's just Comcast who wants the TPP. That's who owns Matt Lauer now. Comcast, who's pushing as hard as possible for the TPP, which is why they fired Ed Schultz, because he spoke a little too loudly about it. And you notice the rest of the guys at MSNBC don't say a guy. Goddamn thing about it. And neither does Matt. And that's why everything sucks in the world.